<laughs> How you doing there, my dear friends? My name is Dan. So good to see you. I'm in beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's three beautifuls. Three of them. Oklahoma. <laughs> no. uh, what are we going to talk about here? I got an idea here. Sometimes when people who are followers of Jesus are, are talking to other folks about spiritual matters, it might seem like the person that we're talking to doesn't understand or, or th that they're just completely uninterested. Like we might be all enthusiastic and, oh man, let me tell you about this, this is great. And, and it might feel like the attitude that we're getting back is, yeah, sure, okay, whatever, fine. yeah, it's all... and, and so we might think, well, what I'm talking about here isn't hard to understand what's going on. And um, I want to read a passage of scripture to you. I think this might help to explain. In, in some of these situations, maybe not all of them, in some of these situations, this might be what's happening. This I'm going to read to you from the, uh, from the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2, and this is verses 13 and 14. The Apostle Paul is writing here, and, and the context is that he's been writing about wisdom, and, and specifically godly wisdom, and the necessity of the Holy Spirit, the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives when it comes to understanding godly wisdom. So here's what he writes. This is from the scriptural text. When we tell you these things, we do not use words that come from human wisdom. Instead, we speak words given to us by the Spirit, using the Spirit's words to explain spiritual truths. Keep reading. But people who aren't spiritual can't receive, catch this now, people who aren't spiritual can't receive these truths from God's Spirit. It all sounds foolish to them, and they can't understand it, for only those who are spiritual can understand what the Spirit means. All right, I'm back. <laughs> just, just a little minor detour there. Um, see, when we are talking to people about spiritual things and they don't get it and they just or they just seem completely uninterested and it doesn't seem to be registering at all it's very possible the explanation doesn't involve their lack of intelligence it's not aren't they smart enough to get that yeah they're plenty smart that's not the problem it's that they're not spiritually uh, connected they're not spiritually in tune the Holy Spirit at this stage is not operative fully in their lives. Spiritual things are spiritually discerned. And there's a sense in which you could say they're just not ready to hear it right now. They're not ready. Now it's helpful for us in situations like that not to be discouraged and just give up. You know, we don't want to have this kind of an attitude. Well then, well, forget that guy or that girl. For it. I, I, I'm not wasting my breath on him or her anymore. No, 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 no. Don't take that approach. Take your breath and pray for him or her. Yeah, do that. Pray, pray for God to open doors. Pray for the Holy Spirit to move. See, in, my, in, in our minds, we might be thinking, <laughs> this is a lost cause. Forget it. This is a... The, I can't imagine, we might be thinking, I can't imagine any scenario in which this person would willingly turn to God. But see, remember, it's not about whether you, or, you and I could imagine it or not. That's not the test. <laughs> there's an infinite mind. There's, there's the mind of God. And he can imagine what we could never, ever conceive. Really. Really. It's not over yet. <laughs> we run out of options sometimes. God never runs out of options. God's not done. Keep trying. 